some silly reason there are people out there who think I like to hide behind this thing. <laughs> now, I don't know how good your vision is, but I personally don't see it working. I mean, I'm a big bloke, and you wouldn't believe it, but I did actually go to the gym earlier this year. I had a, I had a problem. I went for a gym. It was, it was a very simple thing, but a simple goal. I wanted to fit into my jeans again, because I had a problem where I thought I'd go buy a new pair of jeans, because it was easier than going to the gym, and I discovered when I was standing in the clothing store, I asked the pretty young lady where the men's section was, and she said, are you standing in it? And then I looked around and realised that um, I was surrounded by little shorts, lots of pastel watercolours, <laughs> and singlets that the young guys who wear them really shouldn't be wearing. I mean, the blokes who wear these singlets need the other half of their brain and a good fucking steak. <laughs> I'm not sure when it happened, I completely missed it, but at some point in the last 10 years, guys started dressing like 1980s Barbies. <laughs> so my goal was simple, go to the gym and get into my old jeans. It was the best thing for everyone. And the, the thing about gyms is you go there and you get into it, right? I started to take protein shakes. And the thing I, that, I mean, you read the information, you do the studying and all the rest of it. The one thing that wasn't on the bottle was how quickly the protein goes through your body. And let's just say the first time I found that out, nothing bad happened. We'll just say that nothing bad happened. <laughs> but if something bad did happen to happen, it was on leg day. And it's the day when your legs are killing you from that leg session, right? And all of a sudden you need to desperately take the shit. <laughs> and it is desperate that if there was an emergency service for such a thing, you would use it. Because the thing about a squat, I'll do this in three directions so you can all see. You've got to get down into that zone that you've just worked out that morning. So it really, not only are you in a hurry, but it fucking hurts as you go down. So, but chance, I happened to find a disabled toilet. And the best thing about a disabled toilet is, is that it's that little bit higher. So you don't have to go down into that burn zone. It's fucking brilliant. The other thing about the, the fucking um, disabled toilets is they've got a grab rail. So you don't have to rely on what's left your legs to pull yourself back up. You can get that little bit of dignity back as you wipe your ass. The other freak is about gyms. The protein powder, I'm pretty sure it started stuffing with my brain because I couldn't remember where I was up to unless I looked in the mirror. I'd be halfway through a movement and go, what am I doing? Look in the mirror and there's a dumbbell in my hand. Like, oh, that's right, I was doing this. <laughs> that's sweet. That's why they have mirrors. I thought it was for selfies, you know? <laughs> no, it's because they forget what they're up to. Oh, we're good, here we go. Now I'll wipe the sound. Um, so they, take, they use the mirrors to remind themselves where they're at. But I caught myself brushing my hair <laughs> and slowing to check out my form. And then without knowing it, I got busted by my boss at work one day, moving the mouse. <laughs> and then before I knew it, I pulled out my phone and took a selfie of myself with the mouse. Hashtag, fuck yeah. <laughs> but while I'm on the subject of mirrors, because this is jogging my memory, like I said, mirrors jog my memory, it's great. Why do women go to toilets in pairs? Right? Is it for safety, protection? Or I've got another theory. Protection? Okay, what are there scary other women in the bathroom? <laughs> I've got another theory. Because women apparently can't smell their own farts, right? Every time someone farts and there's a dog present, they blame the fucking dog. And then the dog looks at you and you look at the dog and you know full well that neither one of you dropped it. <laughs> but no one admits it because it's one of those unwritten gentleman rules. And we're lucky that dogs don't talk because the shit they would tell. 
dead set. How many bad things have you done in front of your dog? <laughs> yeah, everyone's got real quiet real quick there. <laughs> but if you can't smell your own shit, this is a wild theory of mine. I have no proof whatsoever, but I'm going to start putting it on Google so that if it's there on the internet, it's going to start becoming true because that's how shit works these days, right? But if you can't smell your own shit, do you take your friend with you so that when the smell builds up, they can let you know? Because I know that when I go to the toilet, I generally warn people. I'm like, dude, don't. <laughs> you just had a leg day, go to the disabled toilet, trust me. Bonus points, man, you'll love it. But, you know, I mean, is there something secret in the ladies' toilets that you don't want to tell us about? Is there like, a, uh, like one of those underground raves going on in the bathroom? <laughs> you're, like, you're on the dance floor at Discovery, you're like, I hate Nicky Minja. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah! Get in there, fix your makeup, spend 20 minutes in there, come out refreshed. Meanwhile, everyone's just dropping eckies and having a fat time in the bathroom. <laughs> but the, the mirrors, it gets me, it always gets me. And this is where I forgot the next bit I was going to say. <laughs> get a, get a, something, something. All right, we've got the mirrors. I'm just going to squat because I did legs this morning. It's terrible. We had mirrors, oh, men's fashion. This sucks. <laughs> No one wants to see me work on my fitness. I worked on my fitness. I fit into my jeans. But the other problem I have in this town, right, everyone's got to be curious about the fact that I talk about shit all the day, and you wouldn't believe it, but I'm actually single. That's all I talk about all day is shit, right? But I didn't always have this problem, right? Once upon a time, about 10 years ago, I was ridiculously good looking. <laughs> all right, I was so good looking that I couldn't go into town without girls rubbing against me, buying me beers, giving me their numbers. And it caused real trouble with my mates because they weren't as good looking as me. So I decided I'd do something about this, right? One, I wanted to try and introduce a bag limit to men in Darwin <laughs> so that you could only go out and catch so many women per month. Therefore, it would leave more women for the other guys who weren't as good looking as me. But that didn't catch on. I reckon it should have because it would help me now. So what I did back then was, I started to consume extra iced coffees and beers and decided to put the extra weight on. I did it on purpose so that all the other guys could have a crack at the girls. <laughs> all right? The problem was it worked a little too well. So for the last 10 years, my camouflage has been my downfall. And the problem with being single for so long is that all your older relatives try to pep you up whenever you, find, whenever you meet them again. So you get all these old cliché sayings about, it's all right, Brad, there's someone out there, they're looking for a guy just like you. That sounds like a threat. <laughs> I'm wondering if there's someone out there somewhere who's looking for a bloke with kidneys just like these. <laughs> right? They're slightly bruised. But the other one, and um, I hate it, is there's plenty of fish in the sea. I'm not a fucking fish. And the worst thing about the fish is it's a big fucking thing. It's a massive thing. And when you go right down deep into the deep, dark little bits of the ocean, there's all these really scary little bottom dwellers with fucking light bulbs <laughs> and buck teeth. And I don't know about anyone else, but the last time I went into a nightclub, it's fucking dark in there. <laughs> so I don't know how long it's been since you've been out to a nightclub, but I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. So anyway, I'm going to leave you with a few things just to remind you what we've gone across here tonight because I keep forgetting, which is fucking terrible. I need to get a mirror here for tomorrow night so I can just look at the mirror and go, fuck yeah. All right. Skinny jeans are for girls. It's very simple. Skinny jeans for girls. Don't eat protein. Oh, well, well they don't look good on skinny guys. See, I'm, I'm probably not allowed to say that, but I'll take your word for it. It depends. They might be able to pull it off with pretty eyes. No? Oh, no. Yeah, well, do you wear the skinny jeans? Or are you one of the people within dark corners to discover at four in the morning? <laughs> All right, skinny jeans are for girls. Don't eat protein. 
before leg day. And if you do, take a shit before you do your leg fucking routine. <laughs> Three, mirrors are for gyms and stop checking yourself out in shop windows. It's embarrassing. <laughs> and four, next time you see a fat man in Mitchell Street, go up and thank him for letting you catch with, up with your beautiful girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever else. And that'll do me for tonight. Thank you very much, everybody. I've been Brad Stott. <laughs> <laughs>